For residents living near Copenhagen's marble church, the soundscape is rarely divine. As workers burrow to build an underground station, decibel levels hover around and sometimes exceed those determined as dangerous by the World Health Organization, the WHO. This is the view from the apartment of psychologist Maya Glem, who wears ear protectors. I'm very worried about my children. WHO says that this will give learning disabilities, concentration difficulties, difficulties of motivation and communication. The Environmental Tribunal ruled that Denmark broke an international convention, obliging authorities to properly consult citizens about noise pollution, and it's banned night working at the Marble Church. But round-the-clock construction will continue at the main tunnelling site, near the homes of neighbours Søren Sandale and Tom Manjak, who suffers from depression because of the noise. It's incredible uh, in a country like Denmark, which prizes itself for being respecting the human rights and respecting this and that, and then they just don't do it in their own backyard. I just think it is just despicable. The construction company needs to work around the clock if it's to meet its deadline. It's trying to achieve 30 metres of new tunnel every day. Anything less would not be viable. This project is dependent on us completing this to a programme. And we are at the moment here very, very uh, restricted in being able to achieve that programme. The new metro line was scheduled to be completed by 2018 at a cost of $3.9 billion as part of the integrated transport system of the city crowned this year's green capital of Europe. The tribunal's adjudication could result in a substantial delay and an increase in costs. You have to make sure that the metro is done on time. On the second hand, you have to make sure that Copenhageners are not bothered. And that is a complication because you can't do, you can do one, but you can't do both at the same time. So On which that, is the priority? Well, for me, the priority is actually to try to do both. And I can see only one solution to that, and that is resettlement. The government wants to solve this problem quickly and has just set aside $55 million to help thousands of affected residents to move. <laughs> The Marble Church campaigner's victory proves that exposure to sustained excessive noise is unacceptable, but they are unimpressed with the buyout plan and battle lines remain drawn. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Copenhagen.